after many unsuccessful attempts at mass production of the Su-57 fighter, Russia continued to give a deadline of 2025, but not with the current Su-57 model, but with an improved model. According to the Task News Agency, quoted a source in military industrial sector. Accordingly, the improved version of the Su-57 fifth-generation fighter will have a redesigned cockpit, better aerodynamics, and upgraded engines. In the upgraded version of the fighter, as part of the Mega Police research and development project, a completely upgraded cockpit with the most advanced avionics will be installed. In addition, the aircraft will be equipped with a second stage power unit. It is planned that mass production of the upgraded Su 57 will start from 2025, the source said. The two-seat version will most likely help expand the crew's operational capabilities, especially when operating unmanned aircraft. However, many people are still skeptical about Russia's ability to produce Su-57. Even at the present time, the rate of mass production of this fighter is still very slow. According to many sources, from now until the end of 2021, the Russian Aerospace Forces will receive a list for mass-produced Su-57 fighters. However, even this modest goal makes many people doubt, because during the first eight months of this year, not a single new Su-57 fighter has been delivered. The Sukhoi Su-57 is the Russian-made fifth-generation Mantaran fighter designated to destroy all types of air, ground, and naval targets. The Su-57 fighter jet features their technology with the broad use of composite materials, is capable of developing a supersonic cruising speed, and is furnished with the most advanced onboard radio electronic equipment, including a powerful onboard computer, the radar system spread across its body, and some other innovations. In particular, armament placed inside its fuselage. The Su-57 took to the skies for the first time on January 29, 2010. Compared to its predecessors, the Su-57 combines the functions of an attack plane and a fighter jet, while the use of composite materials and innovation technologies and the fighter's aerodynamic configuration ensure the low level of radar and infrared signature. The plane's armament will include, in particular, hypersonic missiles. The fifth-generation fighter jet has been successfully tested in combat conditions in Syria. The Russian armed forces received the first Su-57 fighter in 2020. Russia's aerospace force will get 22 Su-57 fighters by late 2024, and the number in the Russian armed forces will grow to 76 by 2028. If the two-seat version of the Su-57 is true, it becomes 
the world's first dual-seat fifth-generation fighter. My video about the Russian Su-57 fifth-generation fighter ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo. Thank you.